live at four. Motion denied. A public defender tried unsuccessfully to get a murder charge thrown out in the case of a deadly Southeast Fresno shooting. Raymond Angelo Guido is accused of killing a man during a robbery late last year. That was caught on nearby security cameras. Good afternoon. I'm Vanessa Vasconcelos. And I'm Dale Yarong. As the jury prepares to deliberate, Guido's public defender pushed back on the district attorney's case. Action News reporter Gabe Ferris was in the courtroom today and joins us now with the defense's short argument. Gabe. After one of the responding police officers was unavailable to testify this morning, Raymond Guido's public defender and the deputy district attorney both agreed that the jury could read the officer's report instead. That police report, though, was just a single page, and it came moments after the defense asked the judge to throw out the case altogether. So, based on the totality of the evidence here, um, we're asking for... Um, a, a motion to acquit based on insufficient evidence. Denied. That's how Fresno Judge Jonathan Conklin ruled on the defense's request to acquit Raymond Angelo Guido on Monday. The 32-year-old Fresno man is charged with murder for the death of Luis Castillo. On the evening of December 30th last year, Fresno police officers responded to Jackson and Turner Avenues after reported gunshots in the area. When officers arrived, they said they found Castillo suffering from multiple injuries in the road. The 40-year-old later died at Community Regional Medical Center. The defense wanted to call one of the responding officers on Monday, but he wasn't available. So with the prosecution's permission, the defense submitted a police report for the jury to consider as evidence instead. It was then the prosecution's turn for rebuttal, and the deputy district attorney called another officer to testify about a key piece of evidence he found in a car near the scene. Located a, a live 9mm uh, round of ammunition underneath the front passenger seat on the rail that the seat slides on, on the rail closest to the driver's seat. Guido seemed to follow along with the evidence in court on Monday. Court records show a series of charges, some felonies, against him dating back to 2012. He was on parole when police arrested him in March. In addition to murder, he's now also charged with second-degree robbery and having a firearm as a felon. He's pleaded not guilty to all three charges in this case, and his public defender tried poking holes in the surveillance camera footage that helped investigators piece everything together. The so-called uh, eyewitness descriptions are inconsistent uh, with uh, Mr. Guido's appearance. The video in this case um, is not good quality. Raymond Guido will be back in court tomorrow morning for closing arguments in the trial. The jury could then begin deliberating as soon as Thursday. If convicted of murder, Guido could face up to life in prison. Live in studio, Gabe Ferris, ABC 30, Action News.